Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tabitha Carnes Warren. I'm a senior public information specialist for City of Charlotte General Services. I applaud each of you for taking the time to participate in this course and to learn more about your local government. You guys are taking an important step in your journey toward becoming leaders of our community, and I hope there are opportunities for us to partner together in the future. So how many of you listen to podcasts? Well, I'm a podcast junkie, and one of my favorites is called 99% Invisible. It has episodes about everything from the history and design of state license plates to a town in California where the dead outnumber the living a thousand to one. According to its website, the podcast is about all the thought that goes into the things that we don't think about, the unnoticed architecture and design that shapes our world. The same can be said for infrastructure. It was a hot topic in Washington, D.C. for about five minutes, but most days, infrastructure is really something we take for granted, don't we? We don't often think about our roads, our sidewalks, or even the trees that line our streets. We just count on them being there when we need them. That's where General Services comes in. We are one of the most diverse departments in the city, and most of the work we do are things we don't really think about. But all of us rely on it every day. Boiled down to the simplest elements, General Services builds, protects, and procures. We build roads, bridges, cultural facilities, trails, public spaces, police stations, and fire stations. We procure things like real estate and the services of contractors, and we protect the tree canopy and the environment. There are seven main divisions within General Services and about 450 employees. I'm going to provide a broad overview of our department. I'm a big believer in showing more than telling, so today I'll be showing you some of the many projects that we've been involved in. How many of them are in your neighborhood or on your drive home? One of the main things we do is manage the design and construction of city infrastructure projects. That includes bridges, roads, sidewalks, streetscapes, pocket parks, trails, and more. This image is actually a rendering of a bridge that hasn't been built yet. It's the rail trail bridge and will provide a pedestrian and bicycle connection over 277 between Uptown and South End. The project is being paid for through a combination of public and private sector funding. Construction is expected to start next year and take about two years to complete. We also work on unique facilities and projects like this one, the Charlotte Convention Center Expansion and Renovation Project. This project adds more than 100,000 square feet that includes 14 new meeting rooms, new exterior terraces, and a pedestrian walkway over Brooklyn Village Avenue connecting the Weston, Whole Foods, and the Lynx Blue Line. That's where this photo was taken during the grand opening event last October. The Cross Charlotte Trail also falls under our very large umbrella. Pictured here is the segment between Brandywine Road and Tyvola Road. This segment is particularly complex and involves multiple retaining walls, low water bridges, and elevated boardwalks. It's under construction and should be complete in the spring of 2023. Once it's finished, you'll be able to travel from Noda all the way past the President James K. Polk State Historic Site in Pineville to the South Carolina State Line. In all, the city is building out 11 segments that will eventually stretch more than 26 miles from the South Carolina State Line all the way to the PNC Arena near the Cabarrus County line. We also design and build police and fire stations. Pictured here is the new CMPD South Division headquarters on Providence Road West. This division, along with the Central, Independence, University, and Hickory Grove divisions opened recently, and all of them received LEED certification by the U.S. Green Building Council for sustainable building practices. CMPD South also received a Green Building Council Carolina's Leadership Award. One of our key roles is working with other city departments like CATS and CDOT. For example, we oversaw the construction of phase two of the CityLink's Gold Line, commonly referred to as the streetcar, which is operated by CATS. It opened in the summer of 2021. Now riders can travel from French Street near Johnson C. Smith University through Uptown and on to Plaza Midwood. Most of our projects take several years to go from vision to reality. That's because there are several phases the projects go through. 
Planning and design are intended to crystallize the vision into concrete plans. During planning, we get input from the community to determine the features they want and address any concerns that might come up. Once an option is selected, the city hires consultants to design the project. The consultant submits designs at key milestones for the city to review and approve. Meanwhile, the city starts the process of acquiring the easements needed to build and maintain the project. This usually requires real estate agents to work with affected property owners. Utility relocation is where residents start seeing action on the ground. The city works with utility providers like AT&T and Duke Energy to relocate underground and overhead utilities to make way for construction. After the project is bid and a contractor is selected, city council votes to approve the contract. From there, a notice to proceed is given and construction starts. As I stated before, projects typically take several years to complete from start to finish and there are several factors that can affect the timeline, such as coordinating with utility companies, railroads, and other entities, uh, real estate parcels taking longer to acquire, having to rebid a project if the vendor is either unqualified or their bid is too high, material shortages and supply chain disruptions, and of course, weather. In April of 2022, the city cut the ribbon on a segment of the Uptown Cycle Link. General Services worked with CDOT to build an east-west connection through Uptown that connects the Little Sugar Creek Greenway to the Irwin Creek Greenway. This is the first completed segment of the Uptown Cycle Link program, an approximately seven mile network of separated bike lanes that will eventually connect more than 40 miles of bikeways into and across Center City, Charlotte. Something else we do is monitor city landfills and underground fuel systems for compliance and assess city buildings before we renovate or do demolition. Our environmental engineers determine what environmental contamination may exist in what we are buying or building. For example, these are old below ground fuel tanks at fire station number 27. They were originally installed 30 years ago and required a lot of maintenance. We replace those underground tanks with new above ground tanks for gasoline and diesel fuel. They're easier to maintain and monitor and they are compatible with the newer fuel alternatives that have a lower carbon footprint. The diesel tank fuels the fire trucks and is also connected to the emergency generator for backup electrical power. The gasoline tank is to fuel the battalion vehicles. Our landscape management division maintains grounds on city maintained properties, medians, and select rights of way. They manage more than 20 city properties, including six public spaces. Two of them, Five Points Public Plaza and the Ritz at Washington Heights, opened within the past two years. Our engineering and project management division designed and built both spaces. Back in 2017, a drunk driver hit the iconic Hugh McManaway statue that stood on the median at the intersection of Queens and Queens and Providence and Providence. The crash caused significant damage to the beloved statue. Landscape management oversaw the restoration of the statue and reinstalled it in 2018. Hundreds of residents, along with elected officials and media, attended the unveiling celebration. Earlier this year, Landscape Management hosted a volunteer event to plant about 1,000 pollinator plants on a parcel the city bought in 2018. Lowe's and the North Carolina Wildlife Federation purchased the plants and tools and provided the volunteers. It's a public-private partnership we hope to continue well into the future. Landscape Management also manages and operates seven city-owned cemeteries. This picture was taken at the historic Elmwood Pinewood Cemetery right on the edge of Uptown. Fun facts. Old Settler Cemetery in Fourth Ward is Charlotte's oldest cemetery with gravestones dating back to 1776. A lion tamer named Colonel Fred Woods got sick and died when his circus came through town in 1901. His funeral procession featured his fellow entertainers and animals and he's buried at Elmwood Pinewood Cemetery. Elmwood Pinewood also happens to be a certified arboretum. 
Our fleet management division provides complete life cycle management services for more than 7,000 fleet and operational equipment assets for the city of Charlotte and Mecklenburg County. That includes everything from police cars and garbage trucks to chainsaws and lawnmowers. They're also responsible for evaluating and identifying electric and low emission vehicles for purchase in keeping with the city's sustainable and resilient fleet policy. At our commission decommission shop, fleet technicians get CMPD vehicles commissioned for service, like adding computers, decals, car wraps, light bars, and sirens. Some shops specialize in heavy vehicles like fire trucks and garbage trucks, while other shops focus on light duty vehicles like police cars and county vehicles. Another fun fact, fleet management has a team of eight mechanics who specialize in repairing and maintaining the city's fire trucks and they're on call 24 seven. Do any of you remember when that house in Ballantyne exploded because of a natural gas leak? One of our mechanics, Rodney Lee, had to go out there to fix a fire truck at the scene, which was complete pandemonium. So what may look like a humdrum job can actually be quite exciting. And more importantly, it can literally save lives. Rodney was featured on the Gov channel and the city's YouTube channel, so keep an eye out for it. Each December, Fleet Management partners with Right Moves for Youth and the Spokes Group for the annual bike build. City of Charlotte employees and their families spend a Saturday morning at the Fleet Shop on Otondo Avenue assembling 75 bikes for middle and high school students from economically challenged neighborhoods in Mecklenburg County. The bikes are giving to the kids right before Christmas. That concludes my overview of general services. You can visit charlottenc.gov gs to learn more about our department or go to charlottenc.gov projects to learn more about all of the city's infrastructure projects.